All right, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Bank Banks ROM Hacking Mania. So this episode, we're going to be looking at Street Fighter Alpha 2. Uh, what got me interested in this was I was watching Nerd Josh's stream, and he was playing as Ken, and I think he picked Ken stage, and the maybe the person he was playing with told him, like, don't play on that stage because it's laggy. So I didn't know this, but there are some stages in this game which create lag. Um, so shoutouts to Rizwan told me that it's Chun-Li and Rolento, and I learned from the Nerdjaw stream that it's Ken Stage, and then Mountain Man Jed, MMJ, big shoutouts, um, told me that Birdie Stage lags. So for example, um, if we go to Birdie Stage, you can see when I do a super that uh, I think it's this left door will open. So the left door opens, and sometimes there's a person in there, sometimes there's not. And so let's see, birdie stay. I got all these notes. So the right bathroom stall door, for example, there's a person in there. So this zero or one turns the spray on or off. If I turn it to zero, now you can see that person. I don't know if this door ever opens during normal gameplay. Like what we just saw was, you know, player... Player one does a super. Okay, player two does a super. This door opens. So, and then you can see there's like, I think this might be a timer relating to the door. Maybe, maybe not. Somewhere here, you know, all this stuff starts happening. So basically, all this, every frame, it's checking. Like, watch, we can see the reading. Every frame, it's reading. Is this a zero or is it a one? If it's a zero, we leave. So let's go and get your 1D7B0. Um, test it. This this is the <clears throat> A6. So what's an A6? It's the exact spray entry that we're looking at. There's a, there's a bunch of them, and they're all offset by 80 hex. Um, is it zero? Test. Is it zero? If it's zero, go leave. Down here, we're going to leave. If it's not zero, we're going to do all this code. So we basically we're getting an offset for a table. We're going to put the table into A0, then we're going to jump to A0, and we're going to here's a, a all a whole bunch of the addresses for where we're going to go. There's a massive list of them. Um I don't think these should be. I don't know why Gidger does this sometimes. Um, this is a massive table of where we should go. So now it's going to run all this code where it's going to say the code is going to be like, did somebody just do a super? Yes. Was it player one? Yes. Open the door. Has the door closed yet? Close the door. You know, run the animation. So that's why it's not 60 frames per second in some of these stages. Like, uh, if, if we go to Chun-Li's stage... Um, so there's two sets of bicycles. The bicycles in the back that are less colorful and smaller are background tiles, which probably cost very little in resources. These ones in the front, I think there's eight sets. Um, I've got my notes here. Yeah, there's eight sets of these bicycles are all sprites, and they're all moving all the time, and, you know, the game has to check every single one and take its current position, add to it, send it back, update the sprite, blah, 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 every frame. So that's why this stage is not 60 frames per second. So here's something uh, interesting, if I can figure it out. That's not what we want. Um, CD-ROM hack, GNG, MAME. Um, so this is a hacked version of MAME that I fool with. And this has widescreen. We don't, we're not going to be using widescreen, but I offset all of the sprites by 32 pixels down. So anything that's a sprite is going to be lower than normal. Every, anything that's not a sprite is going to appear normal. So you can see uh, that, you know, some of the bicycles, the more colorful ones, are sprites. And then in the background, there's bicycles that are not sprites. Um, so that just gives us definitive proof of what's a sprite and what's not a sprite. So. What, what, what does all that mean? So it means every frame it's reading from that 
if it's if it's O1, then it's going to process code. Maybe it's a lot of code, like in Relento's stage. Uh, let me just beat beat myself up. Now we're moving, you know. So um, this is animated. This girder, this big vertical girder, this is animated. This horizontal thing is animated. And uh, Mountain Man Jed told me that there's some huge invisible sprites that might be at work here to give uh, like translucency. I don't know if that's the case. But, you know, that makes sense that there would be lag in some of these stages as opposed to like, I think Adon's is one of the safe stages like, let's see, what's going on in the background, any reaction stuff. So it's all static except for this boat. So no wonder it does not cause lag. You know, this is one of the safe stages. Reuse stage. Let's take a look. Uh, it's got these clouds. The clouds are relatively small. Uh, this bird is probably a sprite that's tiny, and that might be it. So um, now let's look at. I wanted to look at uh, Ken's stage. So Strider, for example, Strider throws up a teddy bear. He reacts when somebody does a super. So let's move out of the way. See that he throws a teddy bear up. So we can look and see Str Strider's here. Turn him off. Turn him on. Um, <clears throat> so every frame, it's reading. Let's see if we can watch and see here that something moves. CE. Was this 02? Was that? Yeah, this turns to O2. Um, what is this? Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Let's see if that gets written. Yeah, six C two four A. Uh, so we can say Strider can stay teddy bear. Uh, so these are all tables. <clears throat> so now let's see if we BP sixty two five zero. So now let's see if that breaks every time we do this. Yeah, it breaks every time. So that code at six C two five zero is going to run every single time Strider needs to throw the teddy bear um, you know so this might be like uh, an animation uh, you know I have to go through this to, to figure out exactly what's going on but anyway I think for the sake of 60 frames per second it'll be okay if we turn Strider off turn uh, I know Eliza also reacts like if Ken gets hit I see how she makes a sad face. So we can turn her off. So she's at B080. And I wonder if we could double her. So like let's go back to where Strider was. Uh Strider's at AE80. So Strider's type is 5C and Eliza's type is 5B. So uh, no, I just restarted it. <clears throat> Didn't like that. <clears throat> so now here's the thing. Um, so this is who? This is Eliza, I think. Yeah, that's Eliza. So what we need to do is make sure that this never gets turned on in the first place. So instead of doing a watch point for reading, we're going to do watch point for writing and writing an 01 and then we're going to restart the game so this is like initialization stuff start the game uh, go back to Ken's stage and now during loading 1DFCO is turning this sprite on at A4 which is the Eliza location so if we turn this off to zero right now, then Eliza will never show up. It is going to run the check 
on this every frame still, even if it's, um, you know, it's still checking that every frame for all 10 or 12 or however many sprites are permitted in a stage, there's a counter for how many stages or how many background stage sprites there are. Uh, let me find it here somewhere. D -b -d -b -d -d. We, we subtract one from it. Yeah, it's this. Uh, A5 plus B5. Where's A5? FF80B5. So, I don't know. The, it, you get the picture. Um, so, it's still going to check that every frame, but it's never going to run the extra code to check, has somebody done a super? Is she done with her animation? Blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to remove a bunch of these characters, like maybe Morgan, Eliza, Strider, this bowing guy at the edge. I think he bows like if you come near him or if Ken comes near him. And then I'm going to send that I'm going to fix this stage. I'm going to do birdie stage, take away at least the stall doors and the people that hang out inside the stall doors. Um, so it uses the same kind of setup for all the stages, but there's a table for each stage, I think. Um, so I'm going to remove, because I, you know, I don't want to affect every single stage. I want to do it on a case by case basis. So I'll fix this stage. Um, I'm going to remove, if there's eight bicycle sprites, Maybe I'll move, remove like six of them and leave two because it might still look pretty good, you know. Uh, and then Relento stage is going to be a little more tricky with this moving parts in the in the second half. But you know, it's just going to be a matter of testing it and seeing what happens. But you know, I think it should be. This is a pretty cool idea for a hack because if there's you know, the problems with a whole bunch of stages and you can't play in those stages and if you end up in those stages there's a bunch of lag, you know, that sucks. So if people are actually going to make some good use out of this, then awesome, right? Um, let's see, I can turn infinite. You got to have the cheats going for when you want to do the uh, the hacks, right, folks? God, how I dropped my combo. Oops, dropped my combo. Come on. Boom. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any... Oh, it's still going. If you have any questions, hit me up on Discord, Twitter, DM. Leave a comment in this video. I will be happy to answer your questions. And uh, I guess that's it. Goodbye.